Okay, you've got a line here, not as y equals mx plus c, but in ax plus by plus c equals zero form. It's tangent to this curve and find the point of contact. Well, first thing I'm going to do is multiply this out here. And then I'm going to take, find out what y equals there and substitute in y as this y here. So this is 4x squared minus 8x and then minus 3 more x, so that's minus 11x, and minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. This bit here, add 2 to both sides, and then take away 3x, and then y equals this, so basically I'm going to say y is that, or I could just say they're both equal to each other. So 2 minus 3x equals 4x squared minus 11x plus 6, and get it all over to one side, uh, so I have 0 on the left hand side, that's going to be 4x squared, add 3x to both sides, so that will be minus 8x, and then take away 2 from both sides, that will be plus 4. Obviously I can now divide by 3 by 4, so I get 0 equals x squared minus 2x plus 1, and that's going to factorise, so 0 equals x and x to get 1, it can only be 1 and 1. It's positive, so it's either both positive or negative. That's negative, they're both going to be negative. Just check x squared minus x minus another x is minus 2x plus 1. Good. Uh, so that means that uh, x equals 1 or x equals 1. Um, so line touches just once. Is when x equals one, and therefore it's a tangent. And I need to find the, the point of contact y equals two minus three x. So oh, two minus three x. So you see what I'm doing? Y equals two minus three times one. That's three. So which equals negative one. So it's one. Um, minus 1 is the point of contact. You could um, have shown the dis determinants, discriminants equals 0. Discriminant b squared minus 4ac from this bit here b is negative 2 so negative 2 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 so that is 4 take away 4 which equals 0 therefore tangent but didn't read really it because we've both found it a repeated root of 1 and we needed to find out what the point of contact was and uh, that's that done